Okay. So as we go through this, really be thinking about what is it you really, really want. Okay. Now I want to do a quick exercise with you before I do a model that shows you. I'm just going to show you one of the models that we use in the class uh, to give you the idea of what we're doing in the course. But I want to show you something about perception. Okay. Um, one of the things that we're going to look at in the course is the way that we think, right? The way that we see things, um, our opinions, the way that we really believe things are. I don't know if you've ever heard this before, that a human being is made up of beliefs. Now, let me ask you this. How many people, when you put your toilet paper roll on, how many of you like your toilet paper roll to go off the top, you know, and down the front? How many of you prefer that one? Okay. Okay, how many of you like it actually to go back behind and then down the wall? We have some of those. And how many of you will not put it on no matter what? You'll just set it on something. <laughs> Thank you. See, you have a perception about how you like toilet paper, too, okay? We are made up. Our brain is made up of perceptions, meaning the way that you see things really does dictate everything else, okay? And so it's fascinating to come in and to take a look at the way that I saw things, I really believed I was right. You might know what I'm talking about. I really did believe that my father was this, my mom was this, the world was this, women were this, men were this, money was this. I pretty much got it figured out. <laughs> so if you want to play, go ahead, because it's kind of tricky if you want to do it. In a moment, what I'm going to have you do is point And then if you will, i got to stay in camera, but there's nothing like, oh, i got some light. So you want to point up at something, you know, like even like a divot in the, the ceiling or something. In a moment, not yet. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So you point to something, and then you, I want you to do this at home. Point to the ceiling. Then. Okay. Uh, point to the ceiling, and then I want you to keep looking up, but then you're going to turn your hands in a circle. And then the circle I'm actually going to do is go start going counterclockwise. Just go counterclockwise, and you don't have to go fast. You can go slow. Counterclockwise, and when I say go, then you're just going to keep looking up, but then bring your hand down, still going counterclockwise, all the way to right here. But never look down until I tell you to, okay? So if you want to play and see something pretty cool, go ahead. Just stare at something on the ceiling. Find something to point out. Okay, keep focusing on the ceiling, not your hand. Okay, now slowly take your hand and put it in a counterclockwise circle. Okay, so let me check in with you. Are you going counterclockwise? Okay, are you sure? I want you to double check and make sure that you would put money on it that you're going counterclockwise. All right, very good. Now slowly bring it down, but keep looking up. Keep going counterclockwise. Slowly bring it down. Now maybe in front of your face. Keep going. You want to get it down to your stomach area. Keep looking up, though. Keep going. Okay, now slowly look down and see what direction you're going. You're going clockwise. <laughs> and I thought I asked you if you were going counterclockwise. And you said yes, and you would have bet money on it. But the reality is, were you going counterclockwise? No. You are not going counterclockwise. It appears that it's counterclockwise. And as long as you look at it from underneath, it's counterclockwise. Kind of if you look at it above and down, it's clockwise. But your hand's doing the same thing. <laughs> so it all is a perspective. And how many of us think our perspective is so right on and it rules? And to come into a class and to do this for three days. <laughs> See, my relationships really didn't work. They ended between the six and nine month area. All the time, and it wasn't me. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't. I mean, that, because my dream is to have a great relationship, and they would end, so it can't be me. Because I'm a good guy, and I really am. I'm a good guy. It never was cheating, it never was anything like that. It just, and they would not stand in relationship. It wasn't me. And I believed that. I believed I was going counterclockwise. I believed it wasn't me because I am a good man. I would never hurt a woman. I would never cheat. I was not like that. Then why don't they work? It had to be. Women are just odd. <laughs> <laughs> and to come in in one weekend class and realize that it wasn't women at all, 
it was completely me. But to see what I was doing of why they left, is that powerful? Now you might think, oh my gosh, I bet that hurt. No. I mean, it was like, okay, that hurt. Felt like that. But to now make those shifts that I never would have made before if I didn't see it. And no one could tell me what they are. Does that make sense? No one could tell me you're doing this, you're doing this, you're doing this. Because you can't hear that. Right? Have you ever, ever decided to buy a car and you're out looking for the car and you don't know what car to buy and you're shopping and you see one on the car lot or you see one on the street and go, that's the car I want. You're in this happening. You're like, that's it. And you see that car the next day everywhere. <laughs> you ever had that happen? You only focus on certain things. And when someone brings things to your attention that doesn't fit, we don't actually hear it. And no one could have told me that until I came and experienced it myself. Why? Making good money at the end of it all, don't have any. Why do I have a drive to entertain? Why do I have a drive to go buy you anything? Why do I have an entertain to go buy the women I was in a relationship anything they wanted? And we go out, let me pay for the whole check. Let me be. And then at the end, I don't have anything left. And that started at 14 years old. I took the class at 28 years old and did not afford the class. So 14 years of that happened. Where did that start? And eventually, I just went, well, I don't know. That's just the way I am. I see other people save money and, and build money and have their money start making money for them and be able to take nice, lavish vacations. And I'm like, I can't afford it. And when Ron asked me to take this class, I can't afford it. And to have those questions answered, and to have so much clarity about it in a weekend was like, I got to do this. I, I want to do this. 